Hey everyone, welcome back. Keith here, KF Canyon Ranch BMW i8 Salvage Project. And in this video, I'm going to be bonding the quarter panel onto the car. Now, you've seen other videos where I've done some bonding, and this is pretty much a big step. This is when the side of the car basically goes into place, and it actually starts looking like a car again. So everything gets a final wipe here with some isopropyl alcohol to make sure that it's grease-free and contaminant-free. And then I start putting down the epoxy. Now this is the Permabond two-part epoxy, their ET5429, which is made for carbon fiber. It comes with an adapter so that the epoxy can be applied with a standard caulking gun. Of course, I'm using a battery-powered caulking gun here just to give my hand some relief. And it has a mixing straw with it, so the applicator tip actually has baffles in it that when the two parts of epoxy come out, they mix in those baffles and then they're applied as a mixed uh, substance, which is really nice. Of course, uh, one of the things I really like about this Permabond epoxy is it comes out a little thick and sticky and it can be applied to vertical surfaces. So it doesn't run or sag or drip, it pretty much stays right where you put it. You can fill a gap up to 0.2 inches with it, so it's great in that regard as well. One of the things you want to make sure is, uh, like I'm doing here, I'm putting down several beads of epoxy and then I'm smoothing it out with a fresh popsicle stick. And what that is doing is eliminating any air pockets or uncovered areas in the joint. Those would just create a weak spot and make that joint uh, brittle. So far, what I've been doing is any place that I have a joint that comes together, I'm sandwiching that with carbon fiber plates on, the, on both sides of it. I've got a lot of extra carbon fiber from the donor tub, so I'm just cutting off little pieces that I need it, making um, bonding plates, and sandwiching those on the inside and the outside. Now on this door jam area, right about where I'm working now, I've actually got some carbon fiber plates that are already put into place. They've got the epoxy on them, they're pushed into place and they're kind of sticking out, ready to receive the quarter panel. I do it in this lower door jam area and I did it in that upper kind of pillar area also. So I've got the body of the car all epoxy where my receiving surfaces will be. And I really wanted to make sure I had enough coverage so that when I put everything together, I get some squeeze of product out of that joint, right? To make sure it's got good coverage. So I additionally put beads of epoxy down on the quarter panel like I'm doing here and smooth those out with a popsicle stick also. Now that lower carbon fiber frame area where I have those uh, carbon fiber plates on the inside, they actually mate up with the area just a little to my right there. You can kind of see the end of that quarter panel lower frame area, that carbon fiber lower frame area. That's filled with a foam. It's right below where I'm working now. That foam is very similar to like a house insulation. It's dense. It provides no strength. I think it's there for sound deadening. So you can see I've got some slots relieved out of there. And that's what I'm filling right now. And that is where those receiving plates go to bond the inside of that carbon fiber frame area together. Now ultimately I'll add plates on the outside to bond the outside as well. That will sandwich that joint right there or that seam. And it, by all accounts, um, you know, I've been doing this on the sub, the, the, the seat pan in the back and the bulkhead there, and it, it seems like it's going to work just fantastic. So I dry fitted everything before and it fit like a champ, but of course now that I've got it all packed full of epoxy, it's given me a little bit of a problem, but nothing a little 2 by 4 can't help with, right? A little push and pull, a whack with the rubber mallet. Everything starts going into place. And then what I do is start wiping out some of that extra squeeze that came out of the joint, clamping it into place, and then I ultimately use a couple of tie-down straps to kind of really keep pressure against things uh, while that epoxy dries. I used a couple of little wooden blocks also, uh, pounded into place to kind of shim up everything and keep it nice and snug. So this takes 72 hours to cure. They make a faster curing one, but of course I wanted longer working time just so I didn't have to rush on it. And then ultimately I'll finish the sandwiching plates kind of in that lower frame area. I've got a few other spots that I'll need to uh, do a little work on also. But by all accounts, uh, putting this quarter panel into place went fantastic. And it seems like it's going to work like a champ. So that's your update. 
Uh, great to have this kind of progress. And thank you all for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please share with your friends. And again, a big thanks to Permabond. Uh, their product is fantastic. I really appreciate them sending it out to me and sponsoring, sponsoring me on this product project. That's it. Uh, at, feel free to add comments below. I don't mind. I don't mind responding uh, to questions. And we'll see you on the next video.